Okay, buddies, it's uh, your pal, Mike Messier, with your Mike's Meals. Now, for those of you that might have just subscribed tonight, a lot of you are probably crossovers from the AEW clips. Uh, so for those that don't know me, yes, I'm a pro wrestling aficionado. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a nice guy for the most part. I do have my angry life rants. And I do have my world famous Vince Russo approved um, pro wrestling rants as well. Now another playlist here is the Mike's Meals. And tonight we're enjoying Whataburger. It's a late night. And we're also going to do a... A hybrid of, of three maybe three or four look at this sandwich oh my god this is 119 in the morning Jacksonville Florida this is a bacon and egg sandwich at Whataburger with jalapeno cheddar biscuit my buddy Jose you can thank him if you like this video because Jose requested this be a drive-through video I uh, I initially was going to this restaurant in town that Jose and his lovely girlfriend Teresa and myself went to a few weeks ago. It was not open for kitchen. Uh, so here I am at Whataburger. I'm really hungry because I went to this wrestling show, which we'll get into now. And then we'll get into The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. This is just all types of stuff in one video. Hopefully the phone battery will last. I think it will. Um, um, what do you want to start with? I'll do a non-spoiler Conjuring 2, Mike's instant movie review. Although typically I, I do the movie review as I'm coming out of the theater. Tonight I was in a big rush to get to the wrestling. Conjuring 2 non-spoiler. Because I know a lot of people want to see it. It's good. Um, okay. I don't know. I'm going to do a non-spoiler. But I'm not going to say anything that happened. But the Conjuring movies are starting to get a pattern. And uh, maybe that pattern existed and I just didn't notice it until tonight, but I saw Conjuring 1, parts of Conjuring 2 this week. That's another story. The uh, projector fell off the thing. The movie came out of sync. Conjuring 2, comeback classics. It was a really good sandwich. Um, I wish I had some hot sauce or something. They didn't ask and I forgot to ask if they had a hot sauce and I always seem to have like some random condiments like here's a Taco Bell hot sauce I could try. Which uh, I always feel weird about <laughs> like mix mojoing fucking fast food places like it kind of freaks me out a little bit to be doing this but I'm actually putting the fucking Taco Bell hot sauce on the goddamn what a burger breakfast sandwich. I know I'm a risky guy, ladies. Here we go. Actually it works. I guess the t the hot sauce doesn't really like discriminate. It doesn't say, "Hey, that's not Taco Bell food. I can't work on this." It works. So here's the deal. That drive through I would say it was about a 20-minute wait. But there was about eight cars in front of me. So credit to them that they they handled that line like a champ. I mean, sometimes you're in a drive through around here. You're there for a long time. The thing with the McDonald's here is I've learned this through trial and effort or trial and error that McDonald's like sometimes they only take cash sometimes they close their kitchen at three in the morning there's nothing like a fucking big thing of water I think they might have charged me for the water though it's hard to say what a burger's weird sometimes they charge you for water
I'll be honest, I really didn't eat before the wrestling. Because I, I went to the fucking gym today, gone to the gym the last three days in a row. <clears throat> so now I'm loading up on calories. And I got this giant fucking platter. So yeah, this is this Mike's meal. Part of the problem with being me or being a larger size individual, especially a male, because big men are allowed to eat a lot of food. It's kind of expected. <laughs> That's why we're big, right? But part of the problem is you don't know how much you're gonna be hungry. Because typically you're just fucking hungry all the time. Or you could always eat, let's put it that way. And it's odd, like when you're a big fellow, like the times that you're not hungry are always like the worst times to not be hungry. Like when there's a free meal or something, you're like, oh, I'm not hungry. It's like, oh, what the fuck? You know, because normally you are. Now I'm fucking really hungry here. And uh, I'm, I'm having these goddamn pancakes these Whataburger pancakes, and, and Jose was shocked to discover through our texting, like texting like two 16-year-old girls on a Friday night. Um, so that's sausage and pancake, in case you're wondering. It probably doesn't look that good on camera, but it looks good to me. Yes, I'm rocking my head <laughs> like fucking Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. I'm rocking my head in appreciation. So let's see. Uh, the Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, worth seeing, yes. Um, it, it, I mean, not to say that it's... They're getting to be, not to say formulaic, but familiar. Let's put it that way. This is a non-spoiler, but I did see on Reddit tonight, while well, I was at the wrestling, AEW talk that's going to come next, but someone was saying that the people in the movie, the couple, the Warrens, are played like saints in the film series, but in real life, maybe not so much. And just some Reddit fuck was like, does this... You know, I'm having a hard time. This is what the Reddit person was saying. I, I don't know if I should be enjoying these movies, The Conjurings, knowing what I know about the Warrens, the real people. And I, I just don't know what the fuck to say. I think in the movie, no offense to that Reddit fuck, but my opinion, have you ever tried to make a movie, Reddit fuck? Probably not. And what the movie is really about is not about the couple. It's about the experiences that they're having and the people they're trying to help. I always find that I'm always holding the hand of the world to explain things and to translate. You know what I mean? Like, I always have to translate everything. This is some good fucking breakfast. Okay, so I go directly from the fucking... Movie to the goddamn, by the way, 787 subscribers, record time for that newest 87 subscribers. Thank you very much. I did promise a tribute video to subscriber 700, but he hasn't proclaimed himself. It's the DJ something or other. Anyway, maybe I'll just make it... Uh, a mystery number between now and subscriber 1000, not subscriber 1000, but between now and subscriber 999, there's going to be a special mystery number subscriber who gets a special video. Now, um, get to the AW, the ticket said eight o'clock. The TV show was scheduled to go on at 10. So I know how these things work. Either we're getting two hours of dark matches. <clears throat> For those that don't know, dark matches are 
shows that are for the live audience but not the TV audience. Now, in AEW's case, they get a little cutesy, and they actually have a show called Dark, which is on um, YouTube. Now, I did have this thought tonight. Uh, I'm going to blow my nose. I always blow my nose off camera out of respect. You wouldn't see Lucy Ball blowing her nose on camera, right? Good meal, by the way. Nice, crisp. I mean, these, these pancakes are about as good as you can get for fast food pancakes. You know what I mean? Like, at some point, you have to just have that recognition. Like, okay, pancakes I get at a fast food place through a drive-thru are not going to be like... You ever have, like, fucking Hawaiian pancakes with pineapples and coconut? Oh, my God. Haven't had that in a while. You know what? Pancakes should be the new cupcakes. We were about fucking 12 years ago, like 2008, or maybe maybe before, before the housing crisis or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I don't know, 2005, 2006. Remember when there was like a couple of years like between crises, like after 9-11 and before the 2008 housing crisis, like 2005, 2006, like things were kind of fun for a while. And um, you know, we had a couple of good years in there, right? And during that time, cupcakes, I think, came into vogue. Like everyone wanted a gourmet cupcake, something you never gave a fuck about before. Suddenly, you needed to pay $6 for a cupcake. And then a couple years after that, you had that two broke girls show, and they wanted to make a little cupcake fucking restaurant. Why couldn't pancakes have been the cupcake? Pancakes are better. You tell me, what would you rather give a fuck about? A pancake or a cupcake? The best situation I had with cupcakes was I went to a wedding and they had a cupcake cake. It was just a fucking like a skeleton of a cake and all these fucking cupcakes were all over it. I thought it was great. And the couple loved it and uh, she ended up killing him on the honeymoon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, she did not kill him. I think they lived happily ever after. I don't know. There's one thing I do well at a fucking wedding, and it's give a speech. See, I don't have to be the best man, but I'm a good speech giver. And uh, if anyone out there gets married and invites me to it, I will give a good speech, because I'm very good at speech giving at weddings. Little, little skill I learned. Okay. Conjuring 2. Good. I'm sorry, not the goddamn Conjuring 2. Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It. Vera Fermina. I mean, remember her in Up in the Air with uh, George Clooney? And, like, that was, like, for as far as I know, her big breakout role. And everyone's like, oh, my God, this woman's so sexy. Which is true. But now that's going, like, ten years ago. She's still sexy. But at the time, it was like, holy shit, where'd you find this one? But like anything else, once you've seen her a million times, it's like, okay. You know what I mean? It's tough to be an actor. And sometimes people wonder, why do these actors sign on for these movie roles? And they play like the same character or they, they're in a series because of the money. But also, it's because it's hard to find work. And especially as an actress, if you're aging, like everyone ages, no one goes and no one stops aging, right? Then you just fucking just want to work. I have a very interesting and odd observation of pop culture. I want to spring it on you. Is it just me? 
or is Caitlyn Jenner and Cindy Crawford starting to look too much alike for comfort? I'm just asking, it's not a judgment, but I was watching, you know, television this morning, flipping around, and I get to some type of Cindy Crawford skin product infomercial, and I'll see, how's old Cindy doing? Because as you may or may not know, she was like the sex goddess of all time when I was a child and growing up, and oh my God, Cindy Crawford, and marrying Richard Gere, and doing things, and uh, she's a fucking gorgeous woman still is but as she's getting a little bit older and you flip the dial and you see Caitlyn Jenner running for governor the former Bruce Jenner now Caitlyn I'm sorry there's a fucking resemblance and I, I don't know if I'm the first one to point this out or if some mean fuck has done that but if you look at Cindy Crawford and you look at Caitlyn fucking Jenner um I don't know if it was that on purpose from Caitlyn when she became Caitlyn or is it just a weird thought that I have? I mean, they're both athletic people and they're both tall and the haircut is similar. It's just a fucking weird thing that I've been noticing and I don't know how to reconcile this because this was like the hot goddess woman, Cindy Crawford, and she's still attractive, trust me. But now it's like, uh, I'm getting this fucking weird... <laughs> I'm getting this fucking Caitlyn Jenner vibe when I see fucking Cindy Crawford. I don't know what to say. I'm just asking if anyone else is feeling these emotions. <laughs> so let's discuss this wrestling show. I get into the fucking wrestling show at 742. For the first time fucking ever, I didn't have a fucking song and dance with security. I've been going to these shows since February, which is always a difficult month to pronounce, by the way. February or February. How the fuck do you say it? February? I go to the fucking goddamn shows since February. <laughs> and uh, I always have a fucking hassle with security. And tonight, it was hassle-free. So that was nice. I get in there, and there's some guy. I guess he's the director of the show. Or some, something to that effect. A guy who spoke with authority. And he's like questioning people. Me and, and another couple of people. I was by myself with this couple. He's like, where are your folks sitting? And they were like, 202. And I'm like, 201. And he's like, wow, you want to sit up front? Blah, blah, blah. So basically, I consider it an upgrade. Uh, I was presented with a seat and a fucking wristband. Which I, I broke off because it was getting uncomfortable. But a wristband and a ticket to sit closer and dude I'm a fucking prick I'm like I get my ticket and I look at the ticket it says like seat number nine and you know if you get an eight or a nine or a seven you're gonna be in the middle of the fucking row so I fucking talked there's another assistant guy I'm like hey can you give me an aisle seat I'm a big guy and he did so I got a fucking aisle seat I don't know if you saw me on camera if you did great I just, here's the thing about this fucking Mike's Meals. I ordered a bunch of food because the line was so long, I was afraid not to. Like, what if I get hungry again? Like, sometimes you can play that fucking, it came with it. Leave me alone. You can play the game of, I'll order some stuff, and then if I'm hungry, I'll still, I'll, I'll go back in line. Not tonight. The drive through lady had a nice clean voice though. Almost like a voicemail robot voice. Well, how's your fucking day going, folks? It's Friday night. Weekends here. <clears throat> AEW analysis, now that we're at the 1933 mark. Thanks for sticking around. Now I'm going to discuss pro wrestling for those that may or may not know. Um, the big surprise of the night was Andre. Oh, no, no Kenny Omega tonight on the show. Am I wrong? Or am I blanking him out? I don't think he was there. No Kenny Omega. But Andre was there, interesting, with Vicky Guerrero. 
hear human voices. There's like a pack of teenagers walking through the parking lot. Uh, Andre was there. Uh, you know, this the town that I live in now is Jacksonville, Florida, which is... If you watch the news here, you'd think you're in a fucking crime zone. But to be honest with you, I've never had a problem. Like, I, I mean, because if you watch the news in Jacksonville, it's like, somebody got killed, somebody died, and then... I'm still alive, so fuck it. But uh, <laughs> the rest, <laughs> the wrestling show was fun. I was down the floor level. It was hot. A friend of mine also went to the show, but he didn't get the, the front. I guess he wasn't in there early enough. So he was just in the jobber seats, but we communicated. I went up to say hi to him. And then I don't think he understood how it all worked because he's like, oh, I'm, I think I want to get going around 10. I'm like, it starts at 10. This 8 o'clock wrestling is like the preliminaries. I'm trying to explain it to them, but you know how people are. If they really don't give a shit, they really don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, you ever just try to convince somebody? Because that's the thing. The harder you push to tell somebody something, the, the more resistance they give you. <clears throat> and then if they don't enjoy the situation, they blame you. I've kind of fucking given up, to be honest with you. Because I used to be a guy who took it very personally... When I would give great advice and people didn't listen, and now I just don't give a fuck. Watch my videos or don't. You know what I mean? I can't save the world anymore. Can't. Wrestling was good. I was, but the lights were kind of killing me, and now I do feel like I need a shower. Like I need a pre sleep shower. I mean, should I go through a goddamn match-by-match -match analysis? I don't think I can remember all the matches. The highlights were the Brick Baker thing. I could tell the way that Nyla Rose was eyeballing her. She was going to attack her with the hamburgers. I've got clips of all this stuff on my fucking YouTube channel. Okay, folks, you saw all the fucking food I ate, right? Well, I also got a goddamn chocolate shake. Because, there's a reason, they had this big fucking sign, Dr. Pepper Shake, for a limited time. It got my fucking metaphorical dick hard for it. So I said, could I have the fucking me medium Dr. Pepper Shake? She said, as of tonight, we don't have the Dr. Pepper Shake anymore. I'm like, bitch, now I want a fucking shake. I said, do you have a chocolate shake? Yes, we do. Here we go. It's a good goddamn shake. Well, folks, that's your goddamn review. Uh, in review, I had a big day today. I went to the gym. There's one thing you can say about me is my fucking, fucking forearms are huge. I mean, they don't look that huge on camera, but see that muscle just protruding? Look at that. I'm getting some of that stuff, veins. Conjuring 2, or con God damn it, it's not 2, it's the devil made me do it, Conjuring. Worst scene, worth scene. Wrestling was fun. Uh, a slight dip in the action when the restaurant I was attending would not, they just had fucking hookah. I mean, no offense, but I have to say this because I was thinking it. What the fuck's up with hookah, man? If you're a hookah person, please comment and set me straight, inform me. I don't see the appeal. I really don't. What the fuck are you supposed to hook up? It, and it just seems... <sighs> My friends explain this to me, that they replace the tip of the hookah thing. But I'm like, what about the pipe? Like, all these germs? It's just... It seems very... Um, germy. Receive word tonight via text that a, uh, don't cry for me, Argentina, but an associate of an associate, an associate of a friend passed away. So always sad to hear, uh, was not a friend of mine. In fact, I was confused as to who the person was, but always sad when someone dies, right? But you know, what the fuck? Uh, but the wrestling was fun and I get a lot of clips of AEW. Like, I've been telling people to go to these wrestling matches for a year. They can either do it or not. The other big wrestling story, folks, is the whole WWE. Will they sell? 
I just, I'm going to put the brakes on a little bit because I've been getting kind of excited or, or emotional or agitated as a lot of fans are. But the, the reality is, if you think about it, we've been through this before. Like two or three times at least, there's been WWE sale rumors. Doesn't seem to happen. All right, folks. Okay, folks. Well, it's been fun. Subscribe to Mike Mancia YouTube channel. 780, 787 subscribers. For those of you that might have watched this and been like, what the fuck? You know, I don't know what this is. Um, a lot of times my Mike's meals are more food oriented. You know, succinctly, I'd say this was a pretty goddamn good meal for one o'clock in the morning from a drive through 13 bucks for all that food. Um, the movie review, go see the fucking conjuring. If you've been watching the series, go see this one. It's just as good if the, you know, and the other thing was, uh, the wrestling was fun. So there you go. Oh, as far as Mike's unfinished book reviews, I'm reading the Nick Aldis book, and I'm listening, believe it or not, to Matthew McConaughey, and I'm having fun with that. I'm listening to that on Audible in my car. Okay, folks, good night. Mike Messier. Subscribe to Mike Messier YouTube channel. Hit the alarm button for all your notifications. I do tell everyone that subscribes, I don't expect you to watch everything, but pick and choose as you go. Okay, and uh, thanks for all the people. Uh, CG up there in New York and Maine. I don't know if you saw it, but I did do that Ryback video. So that's up there, buddy. And uh, the Ultimate Warrior videos I still haven't seen. And I was watching Dark Side of the Ring, the Sam Houston, who's a subscriber to Mike Messier YouTube channel alumni. And the, I, I watched the first half, and I need to get access to the second half. The cable provider I have does not have Vice TV, nor does it have A&E. So that's the holdup on the uh, Ultimate Warrior contrast video for Johnny Z and so forth. Anyway, goodbye.